Christian, you got a, a mini camp under your belt, next up training camp. How do you think it went? You guys seem to be loose out there as a group at the hill. Yeah, I, I think uh, the whole uh, the whole off season, the, the 10 OTAs and the, the three days of mini camp. I think we definitely got better. Um, there were days that were better than others, and, and uh, but yeah, I think you learn most from those, those bad days. I think as, as an offense, we put in basically our whole offense plus some, and um, tried a bunch of new stuff and saw what sticks and, and what doesn't. And I think we're in a good point heading to training camp now. We just got to. Uh, Make sure we stay on top of things through this this break. Um, you know, everyone get a break and get their minds off because once once training camp starts, it's a grind from there. But but also keep in the back of your mind that uh, you know it's, it's coming fast. To what degree, if at all, did you see the passing offense evolve through the course of OTAs and minicamp here? Well, I think um, with, with Greg and, and with Cordero and and uh, Jerome getting better and Jarius, I think coming along, we got guys getting downfield. We got guys getting open. Um, we got more plays in. Doing some different stuff, and, and so I think uh, it, it definitely has developed. I think it's, it's still got a way to go. How much more comfortable were you this season compared to last season? Just going in, just knowing. Well, I think each year, I think that comfort level grows and grows, and as you get more experience, the, the game slows down a little bit. And being a third year of the offense, and, and knowing you know, how Coach Musgrave calls plays and what we're doing as an offense, I think. Uh, that comfort level has definitely grown, and, and at the same time, I, I know I have to get better, and I got to keep progressing, and and that takes a lot of work, and and also being uncomfortable, knowing that uh, you know it's still going to take more. Huge comfort level though, with the old line kind of being solidified. You know the guys up front. How has that been? It's been great having all those guys back. Uh, number one, the communication level is great for us to talk about. I mean, even today we, we tried to do some stuff in the pass protection of the line, and. Uh, got mixed up and, and we talked about it and we're fixing those kind of issues which is good during this time to, to do that stuff and work it out and um, so those guys are I mean, between Charlie and, and when Soli comes back and, and Matt is a young guy, Brandon Fusco and Phil, uh, those guys are, are doing extremely well and, and, uh, and they're experienced and, and they're going to keep getting better. Chris, have there been adjustments you've had to make with Soli out and taking snaps from different guys? No, I mean, the whole time it was Joe Berger out there, and, and he's done well. He's an experienced guy, and um, he's smart as well. And, and uh, I think, uh, you know, when Soli's out there, he, he definitely does a lot of the stuff on his own because you know, he's, he's just so smart. So uh, I think it's been great for, for Joe and I because we've sat there and talked about it. We'll communicate at the line about you know, who the mic should be and, and changing the mic and stuff. So um, Joe's, Joe's done an excellent job. Cordero and Greg added to this offense. Is there any emphasis on the passing game? Uh, I don't know if there's an emphasis. I think uh, I think as an offense, we'll, we'll find out our continue to find out our identity as, as we play more games in the season. And uh, obviously, we have an Adrian out there. We, we want to establish the run. I think that's always been our, our mindset. And and uh, but continue to, to develop the passing game. We know that we need more yards in the air and more big plays in the air. And um, but we'll see what works. We got we got to find our identity. And, continue to do so, but having Greg and Cordero and Jarius and Jerome, there's, there's guys, and then our tight ends, Kyle and, and John, there's guys that can catch the ball. Can you think this offseason with any individual goals or things you say, this is what I want to work on? Last year we talked about the first and second down. Yeah. Uh, you know, for me, it was, my step is, is just overall to be a better quarterback, and, and what I've said, it uh, comes down to two things, uh, decision-making and accuracy, so for me to, to help my decision-making, that's getting more experience in the OTAs uh, during practices, watching more film, you know, getting familiar with our offense, the ins and outs, and then also watching more film on defense to understand defensive schemes. And then accuracy just comes down to all fundamentals. So that's footwork and, and everything from, from head to toe. Is there anything about OTAs and minicamp that surprised you? No, I don't think anything surprised me. Um, I think uh, I think we just, I guess the biggest thing, I mean, everyone being here was, was great to see. Uh, even during the, the voluntary times, uh, having 100% participation was, was okay, awesome. Jennings talked yesterday about still trying to develop that trust where you know where he's going to be, you, mm -hmm. he knows where, blah, blah. What, what is the next step in that and, and what, what's missing right now as you guys continue with that? Well, he's new um, and I'm new to him, so it, it just takes time to build that chemistry and, and that trust. And you know, I trust that I understand his level of play and, and that he's going to find ways to get open. It's just. That trust level comes of, of you know how he's coming out of routes and, and seeing those kind of things and and, and the timing of doing so because every receiver is different and that's just that's just time on pass. How will you spend the next month? Well, uh, doing a, a little traveling. Uh, we'll be based out of here 
and uh, but but me and my wife will have some much deserved time to, to go spend on, on a vacation and, and uh, but other than that uh, you know like I said before you always got to have that mindset that football is, is right around the corner